Hey, this is Rob. I am going to do a quick video on manually writing G code for a rotary CNC. If you're already rolling your eyes or they've glazed over this fast in the video, that's fine. This is not for most people. This is for the true geeks again. I've been asked multiple times, how do I have it set to skim a cylinder like shown in the photo with it continually rotating the same direction? Often if you have a program do this, it will go 360 degrees, stop, reverse, back to zero, back to 360, starting and stopping over and over again. And going continuously like this is very elusive for some people, though actually in the end, it is quite simple. In fact, it is so simple, I'm gonna show how to do this with a simple one line command. So we're out of my rotary machine and notice that these three dots means everything's already homed, and X is zero, Z is zero, A is zero. So it's all set home for all three axes, axes. And I want to be able to turn multiple times, not just once, but multiple times, while moving to the right. So I'm going to make a command here. So G zero, which means goes at the rapid rate. We're going to go X two inches to the right, so X two. And I'm going to turn, oh, let's just say two rotations while doing that. So 360 degrees is one rotation, so two rotations is A720. A axis is the rotary axis. So I'll hit go, and we'll watch these numbers change as we do that. And now we are at two inches on the right and a 720. I'll do this again and show the actual machine work. There's no drum in it right now, so it's just going to be moving through the air, but that's good enough. And now from the machine point of view, I'll run the exact same command. We can see it's rotating and the bit is moving to the right while it does this. I'll do this one more time. This will be more realistic what I actually do. That last one would be very aggressive skimming on the drum. This one I'm going to set it up to move two inches, but I'm going to turn it 1800 degrees. That should be five turns, if my math is correct in my head. So it'll move much slower, but while the drum is still rotating at the same speed. And just for reference, I would actually never do it exactly this way because the drum is not cutting, I'm sorry, the bit is not cutting into the drum. I would be going to the negative on the X, not the positive, because right now we'd be getting a lot of chatter if I was doing it this way. I would either reverse the direction, the rotation, or start from the right and move to the left. Either way, that would work fine. Okay. I'll talk a little more off camera and we'll go from there. So here I am on just notepad. I'm just going to type some things out as examples. Uh, the example I showed out of the machine was G0, which G0 tells the machine to go at the rapid rate. So I adjust the speed on my machine settings. I slow it down or speed up there. If you want to do set your own speeds, G1 is the command you use. And you also have to have an F command in there that tells the speed to move at inches per minute. Or if you're a communist, I mean uh, metric, you use uh, millimeters per minute. Anyway, CNCs have a problem with converting inches to minute to rotary per minute. At least my machine does, or my how I set things up. It doesn't work quite right. So I like using the rapid myself manually. So G0, and we want to move, let's say, X. Let's say it's an a 8-inch drum, but I always start a little before the drum, go a little past. So I'm going to go 10, 10 inches. And the A, let's say I want to take a real light skimming pass. So I want to take um, 0.04 per rotation. So I'm going to put calculator here. And let's clear that. So 0.04, that means it's got to turn 25 times per inch. So one, 
divided by 0 0.04 equals 25. So for every one inch it's going to move right or left, depending on which way to do it, it's got to turn 25 times. So 25 turns per inch. We're going to go 10 inches, so 25 times 10 more inches, because that 25 was only one inch. So it's 250 rotations we want to go. So we're going to multiply it times 360 degrees for one turn. So I'm going to go to 90,000 degrees. That brings up another point. On your machine, you have to probably set your parameters to go to a big number on your A axis. A lot of people might think, I'll never go more than 360 degrees, because it's that's one complete rotation. So you don't, if you have it set up that way, it, it will not work right. You need to change it so a, a big number there. I think my machine, I devolved it to 999,000 degrees, both positive and negative. In this case, I'd actually go negative 90,000 degrees, so it's cutting into the drum, get less chatter. But for this example, let's put 90,000. So A, 90, 90,000. I'd go to the ND, MDI screen. I showed my example in Linux CNC, but I know other programs have the same MDI screen. We manually put things in. And you put that command in, I would actually go, let's put minus. And I would start that on the right side of the drum and let it go to the right 10 inches while turning 90,000 degrees. And that would take off 40 thousandths per rotation when it cuts to the right. I hope that made sense to everyone. It really isn't that complex once you wrap your head around what you're doing. On my machine, I actually took it one step further and I took the header and footer from an existing G-code file and threw that inside there. So I just hit execute each time I want to run that. My CNC, I have the router on a relay to start and stop. So I like having it that way. I can just click play. It'll start the router, start moving, finish, stop the router. So I made it a little more complex, but still, that simple one MDI command is all it really takes. If you are one of the few people who actually watches the end, I really appreciate it. I thank you. If you got something out of this, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again, and we'll talk to you later.